Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and uh, Happy New Year to you. This is, um, this puzzle actually was, well it's, it looks like one puzzle, it's actually four puzzles. Um, I will explain now. This was sent to us uh, a week ago on Christmas Day by Sumanta, who is a long time friend of the channel, has sent us many puzzles, some of them very clever, but this may surpass everything that he's done before. Um, yeah, here's a bit of history though. We, in, in our Crack of the Cryptic Greatest Hits book one, one of the early puzzles is a puzzle that we got sent a long time ago where the central digit was a one and the puzzle solved as a classic Sudoku. However, you could replace the central digit with a two and it was a harder classic Sudoku. And what's more, you could replace the central digit with a three and it was a still harder classic Sudoku, again with a different solution, which was extraordinary, we thought. Uh, we featured that quite hard and loved that somebody had created that. Sam Kappelman Lyons, um, an absolute genius. He's been the UK's best Sudoku solver. He's been a countdown champion of champions, performer. He's, um, he created our original software, which Sven has developed a bit further. Um, he is an absolute legend. He created a puzzle in which the central digit could be one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven, and give seven different results. And that is incredible. Incredible beyond belief. I understand, I've heard a rumor that there is some puzzle that now can have been done by a computer that can now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine in a particular position and have nine different solutions. And that is mind blowing too. Um, even though that has taken programming, that still displays a certain amount of extraordinary skill by someone. But I have never seen this before. Sumanta has sent us a puzzle in which you can choose what the sum of all the cages is. It's either seven or eight or 12 or 13. And you choose your favorite cage total and solve the puzzle like that. Well, the only way to tribute such a puzzle is to try and solve them all. And that's what I will do today. Um, I'm assuming that there's no answer check built into this puzzle, given that it has four possible solutions. I'm also assuming that you will understand that although we always say that no puzzle on the channel has two possible solutions, and I've just said this puzzle has four possible solutions, that's not true. This puzzle has one solution, I believe, under each rule set, one of which involves all the cages adding up to seven, etc., etc. So we're not breaking any of the channel's principles here. What we are featuring is an extraordinary creation by an extraordinary individual. Now, talking of extraordinary creations, tomorrow we will bring you a very interesting set of puzzles as our Patreon monthly reward for January. Uh, it's not an annual reward, it's a monthly reward, and that will be coming out at 4 p.m. our time tomorrow on Patreon. Do join us there for that. While you're on Patreon, uh, if you're a $3 a month Patreon, you'll be able to see Simon's incredible three and a half hour video solving all the snack doku puzzles from the previous monthly reward. Um, well worth it, I would say. Uh, what else have we got? We've got um, all our apps available on the links under the video, as, as well as Sven Sudoku Pad, kind of the apotheosis of um, solving um, programs, and, and also our merchandise. So do check it all out. Have a fabulous new year. Happy new year to everybody. Um, I imagine this puzzle will actually run over the midnight deadline if I'm solving four of them. Um, which is fascinating, uh, and therefore I will forget to wish you a Happy New Year as we hit uh, midnight in the UK. But I do wish you... Oh, and streaming. We streamed yesterday, I believe. So uh, always worth checking our streams and whether we've got any scheduled in the future, but loads going on, as always, around the channel. Now, what are the rules? So... I can hear a buzz. I don't know what it is. It's not in my room. Right. Normal Sudoku rules apply. One to nine in every row, every column, and every three by three box. Oops, there we go. Now, we have to choose a number. 
out of the four numbers 7, 8, 12 and 13. The sum of the digits in each cage is the number you have chosen. So we'll approach that in a moment. Along a thermometer, digits increase from the bulb to the tip and a white dot connects consecutive digits. Normal rules for, for therm thermos and white dots. All the cages are the same. I'm going to choose seven, first of all, because it's the first number listed. As we go along, perhaps we will figure out how on earth Simanta has created this, although maybe we won't. Let's, let's just see what we get. Let's get cracking. This is extraordinary. So, if I look in cage one, I can see that there are two whole two digits, seven cages and bits of two others. Now, there are three flavors of seven cage. And what I'm calling a flavor is what the constituent digits are. You can make it up with one six, with two five, or with three four. Those are the three flavors. So I am just gonna color flavors without knowing what they are. So let's make that red and that one yellow. Now these other two cells, they can't be red or yellow because both red and yellow digits are used up in the box. So they must be both blue. And these cages must be blue flavored cages. Now that, the ability to translate red and yellow may run out a bit now, but let's see if we can link it. Oh, it doesn't. Uh, this cage is red. Okay, I know that because both cells of this cage are in a box with that blue, so it's not a blue cage. And this sees both yellow cells, so it's not a yellow cell. So that's red. Ah, yes, and it's on the thermo. This digit is on the thermo with both. So this digit, a digit cannot repeat on a thermo because of the strictly increasing rule. So that red cell can't be in either of those places. So this isn't a red cage. It's also not a blue cage because they both see that. So that's a yellow cage. This is red because it's in a box. It's fully in the box with yellow and with one blue cell. So it, we can't have three blue cells in the same box. This is yellow on a similar principle. And there we run out of stuff. I don't think I can translate this. This is red or blue. This is blue or yellow. I don't see a way that I know which is which. However, in box nine, we, again, we have all three, three flavors represented. So I'm going to give them different colors, green, orange, and purple, and see if I can link those back in. So this cell sees both purple and green. So that's an orange cage. This one, I don't know. This is green or orange. This one, this cell can't be orange, and these two cells can't be purple, so this is green. And now this one is orange because it sees two green cells in the box, and it see they both both digits see that purple cell. So that's orange. Now this can't be orange because of that, and it can't be purple because of those, so that's green. And now we're gonna to have to do something to translate green, orange, and purple into red, blue, and yellow, which is a bit weird, but... Um, so orange can't be yellow. Green can't be red. I don't, I don't think that gets it done. So let's think about numbers now. Let's think about this yellow cage, yes. The yellow cage is not a 1-6 cage, and that is because there is a lower digit from 1 to 6 there, and a higher digit from 1 to 6 there. So this is either 2-5 or 3-4, and we know the order because of the thermo. This cell is then 5 or 6, going with a 1 or a 2 to make up a 7 cage. This is 1 or 2 on the thermo, going with a 5 or a 6, and look, we've now got one, two, five, six are blue and red. That is a quad. That's absolutely weird and freaky, but I love it. Love it. So one, two, five, six are the possible colors for blue and red. The upshot of that is that yellow is a three, four pair. We know the order in this box. 
three, four. Oh, that's insane. Right, we've got three or four here. So, and this can't be a four. So this is five or six going with one or two. And we've, we've jumped color now. We've gone into yellow, red, blue. Now, could we do any more back here? I don't, th ah, yes. Okay, three is sitting in the same row as that. So we can. Four is now on a white dot with what must be five. So we've suddenly discovered that red is the two five pair. Brilliant. Ah, oh, this is so clever. One six. Therefore, blue is the one six pair. That's now a one. That's a six because this is in the same box as that. Now, by Sudoku, this is one, three or four, which is actually also what it is by white dot rules. This, by the seven cage rule, is six, three, or four, but it's on a thermo going here through seven cage digits. So that can't be a six, because you'd have to put seven, or eight, or nine on the end of the thermo. So that is three or four. Oh, now we know that green is yellow, because we've got a three, four cage here. Oh, that is gorgeously clever. Samantha, you are wickedly smart. So green is yellow. Um, I want to translate orange and purple. I'm not sure I can yet. Let's use this thermo, which goes to four or five and five or six. Five or six goes with the one or two. The four or, f ah, no, it's not four or five because we've got a three, four pair in row five. So that's a five. Five, two, orange we now know is red. Uh, therefore, we can fill in 2-5 here, and this is a 2-5 pair. We now know that purple is blue. We've got all our colouring done. This is 6-1, six, 6-1. One, six, one. This is 3-4. I'm not sure I know which way around. Ah, I do know which way around this 3-4 pair goes because of the white dot. 3-4. Just noticed that's a five, that's a two. White dot gives three, four, three, four. Oh, it's lovely. Now, yes, four is looking at that. We can do all of this. That is all the cages done. Now we just need to fill in the rest of the puzzle. He says as though that's just a piece of cake. Okay, this column is, oops, sorry, column eight is helpful. Where does the five go? Uh, we've got these fives in the grid, so it doesn't go on the thermo. Therefore, the thermo is the other digits, and we know the order. That gives us a start eight, can't be in those cells. Yeah, seven, eight, nine are the digits that never appear in any cages ever in this version of the puzzle. And I suppose those digits will be different digits for each vers version of the puzzle. I have sort of clocked as we've gone along that 7, 8, 12 and 13 are the four numbers which have three flavours of two cell cages. And that is what I think is the, the key revelation. Oh, three and six are done. Four and nine aren't. That's what I think is the key revelation that has allowed Samantha to even conceive creating this. And I don't want you to go away thinking, oh, it must be easy given that info. I, I think what he's done is still absolutely mind-blowing. Now, this digit I can fill in. I can see one, two, three, four, six in the row, five and eight in the column. That makes it seven or nine, but you can't put a nine on a thermo bulb. So that's seven. The five in the row is here. Now I've got seven, eight, nine triple in column one. I mean, this is relatively complicated solve for something that must be unbelievably constrained to set. Seven, eight, nine triples here. This one actually sees one, two, three, four, five, and six. So that's seven or eight. This might be the key thermo, I think. Oh, that seven is looking up to box one. Now I've got two and one, I can fill them in. That's the last two in the grid, I want to say. Yeah, it's odd I can't finish ones. There's quite a few positions for one left. Um, 
689. These are from 689. 6 is in one of those cells. Oh, so is 9. This is a pair. A 6-9 pair. For different reasons. 6 by Sudoku goes in one of those. 9 because it can't be in that bowl that goes in one of these. So that's a 6-9 pair. Now that does resolve the ones that were outstanding. That's the last one. 6-9 means we've got 7-8 flanking the middle row. 3 there. I can fill that in. That might be the last 3 in the grid. I think it is. And yeah, I can't tell where the last 4 goes. That's 5. Because I've got those 5s. Is that the last 5? I think, yeah, I think I've got... 1, 2, 3, 5 in every box now. That feels very strange. Um, I still don't know how to finish. That's really weird. These are from 4, 7, 8. That is 7 or 8. 4 is in one of these two along with 7 or 8. Why is this not more done? Oh look, there's a 6, 9 pair in this column, so that's 7 or 8. Still doesn't finish. Okay, I'm going to colour 7s and 8s. Yeah, because they translate across. So, purple, green. Purple, green, purple. That becomes purple in this box. That becomes green in box 4. One of those is green. Oh, look, that's gorgeous. You've got these two purples looking into box nine. So that is purple, and purple is now, in one instance, selected from seven and eight, and in another instance, selected from eight and nine, and must, therefore, be eight. Isn't that extraordinary? I wonder if that colouring is necessary. And, and further, I wonder if it's necessary in every version of the puzzle. That would be incredible, actually. That would be incredible. That's a nine, that's an eight. I don't really need to carry on with the colouring, so I'm not going to. I'm just going to finish the puzzle. I, he says wildly, confidently. But that's a six. Yes, I can do this. Nine, six, nine, six. That's a seven. That does this box. Sorry, I keep hitting the wrong digit, but don't worry about that. Nine, six, four, seven. And there is a solution. Oh, it's not going to... Oh, looks good as far as I can tell. Okay, it's a possible solution. And we're not going to put a solution code into this puzzle, so you will get the same result. Because I'm now going to unwind all this and solve for eights. And I think we're going... Well, we're going to start with the same colouring pattern, surely. There's no change. Again, there are three flavours of eight cage. They are one seven, two six, and three five. Now, it's possible that with the thermos as they are, the fact that four is a digit that doesn't go in the cages is going to really affect how the solve goes. And we'll see how that goes, because there are thermos and consecutive white dots resolving this puzzle. And the th well, I can see that it might be a very similar resolution for a 13 total. And it might be different for an 8 or a 12 total. So, before we put in any numbers, we've got this pattern. And I think we can start with this pattern for the 8 version. And let's just try and do the same things and see if it works. So, I'm going to start here. The, the flavours, remember, are 1, 7, 2, 6, and 3, 5. So that's 2 or 3. That's 5 or 6. Now, this cell is 6 or 7. That's 1 or 2. This is 1 or 2. That's 6 or 7. Red and blue are a 1, 2, 6, 7 set. Yellow is the 3-5 pair. So that, that works exactly the same, I think. Yellow is the 3-5 pair. This digit, 
Four is not a valid caged di digit, and it can't be five. So this is six or seven. That's what, oops, not that one. That one is one or two. On the white dot, that's interesting. Oh no, I used this white dot first. So that, oh no, this doesn't work as well because four has not gone as a possible. Oh, four can't be here though in the cage. It works the same actually. I thought I now had two possibilities on the white dot instead of the one the previous time, but I don't. I only have one because four can't go in the cage. So that's a six. And that is going to fix all my flavors and colors and beautiful things. One, seven. Right. Red is now a two, six pair. Um, how do we carry on? How do we get the colors across? This cell is either a five or a one or a three, making this one a seven or a three or a five, but it can't be seven. This is very similar to the other puzzle because you can't put eight and nine in these cages. So that is not a seven. And now we know that green three five means green is the yellow flavor, which I think is the same as the other way round. That's a three five pair. On this white dot, we now can fill in three. Ooh. If we are in the right mode, we can fill in three two. That's a six. Now we know orange flavor is red and therefore purple is blue. And I think that's the same matching as prior. Um, orange is blue and is a one seven pair. So that digit is a seven. Oh, Mark, get in the right mode, you numpty boy. Nine. So there we go. OK, so this digit is six because it's a six two cage. Now we've got a three five pair here. Actually, we know the order from the five. This is not a four, that's a two, that's a six. Uh, oh, six and two are done. White dot does all the others. There we go, there's our cage pattern. Now, yep, we can't put six on this, so that's six. The thermo now goes four, eight, nine. There's a jump in it, it's not seven, eight, nine this time. But we can still put eight there and a four, nine pair, three and seven. This is familiar. This is weird, isn't it? This is a one, two pair. Yeah, it is. One, two, five, nine are now that pair, which I can't resolve yet. Uh, we've got, oh, what have I missed there? Excuse me a second. We've got... Eight, four up here, that's what we've got. We've got a seven, nine pair here. Four, eight, and nine in these cells. I have a feeling we can't put four there. Now, are we, yeah, that's right. This one is four or eight. Are we going to get this same pattern here? I don't know yet, I'm quite excited to find out. Let's just try and do this as a Sudoku. That's where six goes in row eight. This one can't be eight or nine, so that's four. That looks up to box one. That's a familiar method. Two and one there. We get a two there, remember that. Then we could finish off a lot of one, two, three, five in the other version, which might have become one, two, three, six in this version. Mm, I don't know. Um, ah, this is a seven, nine pair. That is, well, it's now a seven, nine pair. It was a six, nine pair last time, but that is still appropriate to spot. I mean, it helps to have done this before, I will say. One is now there and there. That finishes off the ones. These are a four, eight pair, and this is where we're gonna get, yes, we've got seven, nine pair, that's four or eight. And let's color here. I don't know if I'm going the same way around in terms of purple and green as last time, but it's gonna get the same result. How do I know what that is? because that must be there. That's how I know, and it is the same result. 
green and purple must be uh yeah this this cell is purple because those two purples see those two cells so that's purple and look purple must now be eight isn't that beautiful it is the same sort of solution and i think we will get the same when we make the cage totals 12 and 13. that's a three that's an eight nine pair we've got three and five down the first column the oh we got a three in the corner this time i don't know if was that a three in the corner last time i didn't notice it if it was embarrassing i'm not sure if it was though this is seven or nine so that's eight that's nine eight nine seven eight seven nine four nine five nine i mean we're just finishing off now this is brilliant i i mean i i don't care if that feels a bit samey it is oh oh i didn't i've made a mistake somewhere this time what have i done this time i didn't get uh that is a possible solution just checking my thermos, checking my numbers now. Have I done a typo? Yes, I have. This bottom row's got two eights. That digit should be... Oh, that can't be a four. Okay, I've done something wrong. It's that one that can't be an eight. But it can't be a four either. Okay, sorry. Let's rewind back. Ooh, now I'm getting concerned. Let's rewind back to when I first put the purple eights in there. Then green fours. That's got to be all right, I think. So then let's do it again. Nine, eight. Now, what's this cell? That is a naked seven this time. Okay, that box does work now. Nine, four, nine, five, nine, seven, nine. Okay, we don't want... Oh, now I've got two nines in this column. I've got two nines in row seven as well. Okay, I have to go back a bit further. I've, I've put something in that is rubbish. I'm going back to where that was an uncertain 4-9 pair. Now, I said this had to be 4, and that seems to be a problem. But it can't be 8. I still think it has to be four. Everything worked the same. I'm really confused by this. It can't be eight, it can't be nine. So that is right. I'm sorry, I, I, I'm doing something wrong here. And that's annoying when we're trying to celebrate an excellent puzzle and I'm messing it up. Okay, so. This was a 7-9 pair. That's still genuinely right. Then this is a 1. We've got our 4-8 pair there. Now we've got the 7-9 pair in the central column. That's a 1. That's 4 or 8. And here we go again. Surely, when we colour 4-8s, that's... OK, I'm doing it the other way around for some reason this time. That's green. That's purple. That's purple. That's green and that's purple and now purple is forced into this cell in box nine and purple is eight now how can this possibly oh i colored that yeah i think this coloring is different i think maybe i miscolored a cell last time round let's hope that that's all that happened i think that might be what happened and I apologise to everybody involved in the production of this puzzle. 
promise that no animals were harmed apart from the monkeys in my head. Um, five, four there, three and one. Right, they're going to get resolved by, ah oh yes, seven, nine. They're going to get resolved by rows seven and nine is the answer I was trying to come up with there. Five and seven. Now, two and four. Seven and nine. This is better. <laughs> I think this is working in a way that the last one didn't, and I must have miscolored a cell last. Okay, there's a mistyped digit this time. There we go. Oh, okay, that was a real sweat, but it still only took 12 minutes. I don't know what that time represents anymore. Now I'm going to unwind it and select the digit 12 and be a little more careful this time because I, I made a bit of a ricket that time. So we're going to unwind down to the original color scheme. 12 can be made up out of 3, 9, 4, 8, or 5, 7. Those are the three flavors. So we're going to start with that yellow cage in box two when we've got back to the original starting position. Ooh, it takes a little while, doesn't it? I've forgotten this. Here we go. There we are. Right, this yellow cage in box two, we've got three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. So this can't have a three, nine flavor. It's either four, five, or seven, eight. This digit is eight or nine. That's three or four. I said I was going to be more careful. I immediately start hitting the wrong digits. Blue and red are three, four, eight, nine. So yellow is a five, seven pair. Seven, five. This digit can't be six this time on the 12 cages. So now we know the flavors of red, yellow, and blue. Red is four, eight. Yellow is five, seven. This digit can't be six or seven. It's eight or nine. That's three or four. This digit, and how does this work? This is three, five, or seven. And this is seven, five, or nine. But we obviously can't put nine on a bulb. That's a bit clearer, actually, this way around. So green has become the five, seven color, which is yellow, which is about what we expected, I believe. Um, five and four must be the digits on the white dot there. Uh, we get some unwind from that. We don't get that unwound, but we get this unwound and we now know that orange is red. Just the sort of thing we want to know. Purple must therefore be blue. Same, same color attribution as before. That's going to have to be a nine on the thermo. This is probably going to have to be eight. It is. That's one of the available red colors, red, red digits. That's now a five on the white dot. And there are our cages all filled in. None of these can be eight, so it's the same deal. Now this thermo doesn't end in eight, nine. It's a one, two, six thermo. One, two, and six being the digits that don't go in any cages in this puzzle. Right, five and nine here. I know I can fill these two in if I think about them. Four is one of them. That's there. That is... Oh... That's three. Yes, I can fill them in. Then six, seven up in the corners. A one, two pair, a six, nine pair. Now it's this pair. Oh, I want to say that's a six, nine pair. But how do I know that's not a six? Maybe this is a slightly different. Interesting. Okay, let's do this row. We've got one, two, six, and eight to place. That is one or six. So the other two in the column are two and eight. I think this might be very slightly different. How interesting. This is one, two or six by Sudoku, but it can't be one. Eight in the row is definitely there. This is one, two or six. One, two and six. Ah, one, two and six are the digits. 
not in cages. So that is two or six. This one C is three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. So that's one or two. Oh no, it is going to be very much the same solution. Now this is a six, nine pair, I see. It just works very slightly differently because of the different numbers. Uh, we've got a three it is this time here and a one, two pair at the end of the row. This is one or two. And now when I color what are now ones and twos, I'm going to get the result I want. It is the same solution. It is beautiful. I mean, I have to say it is beautiful. That's purple. And now purple can't be in those cells and must be there. And purple must be at two because it's being selected from one, two and from two, six. Green is a one. That's a two, six pair. This is three and five. Down here we have one and six. Let's just take a little bit of care with these. That's not a one. We've got a two, six pair. We need a seven and a five. In they go. That's become a one in the row. We've also got two, eight pair in this box, which is going to sort out this as a six. Um, there may... Something's gone wrong there. Promise to be more careful and something has gone wrong. I think that's okay. Then I get 6-1 here. I thought that that 2-8... Well, it's not a 2-8 pair. That's what's gone wrong. It's a... It's nothing like a 2-8 pair, it's a 3-4 pair. Absolute Muppet Man. How did you do that? I think I must have looked down that column or something. I don't know. Um, right, that's a 4. That is now a 6. I think that's got to be right. I think, okay, this is all right. Just need to take more care. It's very odd how I think I'm taking more care, and I'm obviously just not. Right, the six is sorted out, nine, six. I mean, it's still not taking very long because we kind of know the solution path every time. It's just different digits. It is extraordinary, though, that Sumant has been able to create this. Please, please show a lot of love for him in the comments. Oh, I see the time. I'm getting the same time of 12 minutes 24 each time, which must have been the original time I took the first version. Okay, and now I'm going to rewind to to solve with 13 as the number and we'll go all the way back to the original coloring of flavors and the 13 flavors include 4, 9, 5, 8 and 6, 7 and we shall get these right first time, he says very unconfidently. Right, so as usual, we're going to start with that yellow cage in box two, which this time contains not the four nine pair, but either five, eight or six, seven. This digit is eight or nine. We're making 13 as a total this time. Blue and red are four, five, eight, nine. Yellow is now the six, seven pair. This digit is clearly an eight. That's actually very easy to see in this version of the puzzle, thank goodness. Eight, five, four, nine. This is a five, eight pair. This is a seven, six pair. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. This, yeah, we now work on this cage. We've learned that. This is either seven, six, or four, making this six, seven, or nine. But again, nine can't go on the bulb of a thermo. So green has become a six, seven with flavor, which is yellow. This is now seven or eight. That's eight or nine. Eight or nine goes with five or four. Seven or eight is sitting in a row with six and seven. So that's an eight, that's a five. Orange is red. 
I think we're getting the same exact color scheme out of this that we were expecting. 9494 5 and 8. 8 must be there on the thermo. 5 must be touching 6. Oh, and 5 is also looking up to there. 5 is touching 6 on the white dot again. These are all falling out, falling out just as we expected. This is a 5, 8. Okay, all the cages done. Can't put 8 in those cells. Now we've got 1, 2, 3 on a thermo which in the first iteration was seven, eight, nine. I can write eight in this row. That is one or two, but we, that two gets placed in box one, looks down and makes that a one, that fixes box one completely. I'm, I'm gradually learning the neatest path through this puzzle, although the various errors that I've made have not helped with consolidating that. Um, now, this sees five, six, seven, four, eight, nine. That is one, two, or three, but so is that. So we can mark them like that, and we now know that this pair is nine and three. Yes, we do. Um, that's where four goes. That's a one or a two now. Okay, let's put in a one, two pair there. Nine, three here. This is now one or two in this row. This one is the four. Is that right? I think it's right, but I don't know how I'm meant to know that that's not here yet. So I just need to do a tiny bit of work on that. Oh yes, I fill in these cells first, four and five. That's how I know where four is in this box. It's there and that's four. Now I've got one, two here. Now I can colour my green and purple. I suspect I'm alternating with which ones I'm choosing because I can't remember. Purple, that green is there as green and purple is there. And now this must be purple in box nine. Purple must be a two because of the collocation of those pairs. In fact, that's a two. Green is one. That's now a three. That's a Oh, I didn't manage to hit that. That's a three. Okay, that's now one. We've got eight and nine here. Three, nine, three, nine. I literally no idea what my video length is now and whether we're going over midnight. But it is coming together quite neatly. No three in the corner this time, but we've had one in one of the previous iterations. And we finish there, and there we go. Still telling me my time is 12 minutes 24. Um, but I think that was at least the quickest solve of the four. Um, does this tell me what my video length is? Don't think it does. We're, oh, 43 minutes. So we haven't gone over the hour. Hurrah. Um, so you can still pop, get your champagne out. There's time to get ready if you watch this as soon as it came out in your run up to New Year. And Brilliantly done to Samantha. That is just an extraordinary idea. Basically, it's like one of those think of a number problems where you've, he's he's done it with algebra, basically. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and I. And then he's worked out a scheme where that works every time. It's brilliant. It's a lovely idea and perfectly executed. Thank you, as always, for watching us on the channel. I hope you enjoy a lot more from Cracking the Cryptic in 2024, which I sincerely believe is going to be a great year for all of us. See you soon. Bye for now.